Hello guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if this is your first time here. This was something I didn't know that I was going to be getting this soon. I have this thing where I keep getting recommended fan-made trailers of Beetlejuice 2. And I didn't know that we were going to be getting the actual trailer and it was just hidden among other recommendations. So I love the original Beetlejuice film. Michael Keaton is fantastic. And I also love the parents' characters as well, not only because of their personalities, but because they used to listen to a lot of Harry Belafonte music. And I love his music. It's so happy and joyful and it just, it works well. I really hope in the new film, in Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, apparently that's what it's called. It seems like a strange title, but does that mean they're gonna do a third film called Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice? Let's hope he doesn't turn up. It's your death. Anyway, I wonder if they're going to be using Harry Belafonte music in this one as well. I really hope so. I know that Michael Keaton is back for this one and Winona Ryder is back. But let's watch the trailer to Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice or Beetlejuice 2. The same little town. And they got the day of so yes. Oh, I've got shivers. I love this. Creepy, but I love that. Yes. Ah, the attic back with the toy town. Yes. I'm so glad they've redone it. And she, she looks the same as in the originals. Original, sorry, not originals. Wait, if they look, is that like a shot from ages ago and they've de-aged her? <laughs> no, it is her now. Oh, I love that. Oh. <laughs> it looks so good. Even the title cards have got the same look to them as Beetlejuice, the original. Oh god, I love that. It's only a teaser. But I've got so much excitement for it. It's gonna be so good. I genuinely, it's my favourite of his films and I put it on so often around, I, I watch it kind of regularly in a year, but I watch it more often near uh, Halloween. I try not to overwatch it because I know that it will, yeah, I'll just watch it too many times and, uh, but I can't really get fed up with it because I, it's so good. The weirdness of Beetlejuice is brilliant. One of my favorite scenes is where the guy, wait, I've just realized that I was saying about, um, I love the parents' personalities and it's just occurred to me, who plays the dad? Alec Baldwin. I forget the, the relationship of Winona Ryder's character, Lydia, isn't related to Gina Davis and Alec Baldwin's characters, uh, Adam and Barbara. But yeah, her real parents are Catherine O'Hara's character, who's fantastic, by the way, and Jeffrey Jones, uh, who play Charles Dietz, uh, Jeffrey Jones, and Delia Dietz is uh, Catherine O'Hara. If you don't let me gut out this house and make it my own, I will go insane and I will take you with me! I yeah, it's one of those films I can never get tired of. But yeah, my favourite scene, and it, it occurred to me that it was Alec Baldwin um, at the moment when I was thinking of the scene that I really love, when he goes, my wife and I would like to ask you a few questions. And he goes, oh, sure, sure, shoot. My wife and I would like to ask you a couple of questions. Sure, 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 sure go ahead, shoot. What, what are your qualifications? Ah, well, I attended Juilliard. <laughs> it's, it's that scene. And he goes, uh, what do you think of this? What do you think of this? <laughs> It's so good. When this film comes out, we are watching it on the channel. And it's strange because out of the things that I've seen General Ortega be in, and I have yet to see the show Wednesday, I know. Yeah, she is Astrid Dietz. She plays presumably Lydia's daughter, which is so strange to think Lydia has a daughter, but she kind of looks like she fits perfectly into this universe. So the premise, because I genuinely don't know anything about this new film. I, When I saw the posters to it, I was just very excited. And then, yeah, then I saw this and went, ah, I need to, I need to watch it. Oh my God. Um, so I just quickly turned the camera on and everything and yeah, decided to watch it with you guys. Um, 
but apparently the Beetlejuice 2 film or Beetlejuice Beetlejuice is about so still haunted by Beetlejuice Lydia's life soon gets turned upside down when her rebellious teenage daughter discovers a mysterious portal to the afterlife does she find the door that was drawn in chalk or is this going to be a whole new door I kind of hope they do the same as the original because I loved that in the first one. And he gets the chalk and he draws the door on the wall and then that comes to life. And when I saw that for the first time, I thought that was so imaginative. In case of emergency, draw a door. Yeah, when someone says Beetlejuice's name three times, the mischievous demon gleefully returns to unleash his very own brand of mayhem. Oh, it's gonna be so good. You may have guessed, by the way, the reason I wore this shirt was because it was black and white, like Beetlejuice and Tim Burton style, yeah. So. Oh, so interestingly, Beetlejuice is going to have a wife in this, Monica Bellucci. She was in one of the Bond films. You signed my death warrant. I was respected. Uh, she was also in uh, The Matrix third film, I believe. If she has to, she'll kill every one of us. She's got real good emotion in her face, especially in the scene in Bond. Ah, and Willem Dafoe is in it as well. Just This is such a good cast. Yeah, so looking up about the whether or not Gina Davis and Alec Baldwin would appear in it, uh, it's likely they won't. They might have a cameo. Maybe they've both shot some, some bits for it. But with the whole thing that's going on at the moment with Rust, and if you don't know anything about it, look it up with caution. I don't know, but we'll wait and see because yeah this is just the teaser trailer um oh ah, it's gonna be so good one thing i do want to check out is michael keaton did an interview for this film uh with sirius xm and yeah apparently 72 damn he's doing very well he looks great for 72 yeah and when the film comes out it'll be 73 but anyway we're gonna watch uh this little quick interview with him because I'm so interested um, if he's seen the film and what he thinks of the, the, the things he's done so far with the film and if he's going to say anything about the original film. We're also so excited about Beetlejuice 2, <laughs> or as it's also called, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. That's Don't right. say it a third right. time. Don't. Be careful. Yeah. Does that mean that there's going to be a third film? How are you doing? Back in the room with Tim Burton. You've, you guys have done so much work together and have such a history. Yeah, they have. So fun, I can't tell you. <laughs> about the most fun yeah so i'm not going to no, so <laughs> that's an interview over you can't compare beer juice to anything because it's unique yeah and i keep saying this but it's true it's like a little it's like a, a piece of art you know what i mean it, it's almost like you just want to take it and encapsulate it. what i will say is that way back when it came out on 4k uhd I bought it because I had at the time just the DVD copy of it. I was like, no, I need to upgrade this. I was going to watch it again. And I thought, you know what? No, just, just upgrade it. I really wanted to get that 4K and I only get 4K versions of films that are my favorites. So I've got, you know, Back to the Future, the trilogy. Um, I've got Cinema Paradiso. I've got this film. I've got Willy Wonka and Chocolate Factory and also The Shining as well. Memories for me, but also uh, just fantastic films as well. Put it in a little museum and just, just it, it, there's just nothing like it. So to do it again was uh, a little, Wonderful. I guess, intimidating or I was nervous about it. But I wanted to do it. A long time ago, I thought, I think, I think maybe we should take another shot of this. And then, uh, it, the idea just kind of went away. No one really seemed to be that. Do you know what throws me about this interview? His home is so simple. And so, I don't know. It's very homely. It just doesn't feel like it's his home. It's homely and feels quite warm. And it also doesn't feel like it fits with what we know of him. <laughs> He's, it's such a wonderful little home. I love it. Excited about it, or they just didn't know if they were. So and then I lost interest. But then it started coming back, and Tim and I would talk over the years about would yeah, we ever do it if we. I remember when the first uh, tease of it, like them potentially making a, a remake or a sequel to it, and I was so giddy then and didn't think it was ever going to happen because they said that with multiple things. And I, I also didn't want them to do a remake because I never want them to remake stuff. Same with Back to the Future. They've said a billion times, are we going to remake it? We are. Um, never remake that. Never remake any of the greats. How would we do it? But it, it's just it's just so fun. And I've seen it now. 
He's seen it. I'm going to see it again after a couple little tweaks uh, in the editing room. And I'm, I confidently say this thing is great. Yes. Like, when was the last time did you do a rewatch of the original just as like a reminder for like the... F- see, that's that's what I'm going to do when I see Beetlejuice 2. I'm going to watch it again, um, even though I know it kind of inside out and I know what's going to happen and certain things I say. And Sure, sure, shoot. Physical nature of Beetlejuice yeah. Or, or, yeah, like... What? Yeah, that's the point. Yeah, there's so much that he does with Beetlejuice that's so much different to to him personally. Trying to get all those mannerisms and the voice back again, even the actions and the sort of stance that he's got and the mannerisms just in general are what I feel like now, especially seeing Michael Keaton in this interview, are so much different to him. A lot of like neck craning and <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. The body movement where you were yeah. like, oh God, I've got to do that <laughs> neck crane again. Or Yeah, because it was like this. Oh. <laughs> My terrible impression of Beetlejuice, by the way. Exactly. That was just kind of how that how that, how that all came together was just so kind of, I was going to say nuts, but, and, and it was nuts, but it was just so great how it happened. It was so, you know, just, just letting it fly, you know, not worried about whether it works or not. Just go do what you yeah. really want to do. Uh, that's hard to, to replicate. Especially with it coming out in 1988 as well. So he was kind of in that, that great era for, the 80s films that were very iconic for today. We all love those 80s films and trying to replicate that. Sometimes filmmakers haven't really kind of got that knack. And and even literally, it's funny, but honestly, the things you're talking about, yeah, you do think of that stuff and you go, you know, and I, that's like a one-time thing. That's not like some, oh, oh yeah, I just turned that thing on, you know. Right. Even though that's, that's how it happened. Yeah. So he doesn't just turn it on. <laughs> I presume he didn't just just go, okay, but there you go, I'm in the role. But he has to bring all these elements together to make himself Beetlejuice again. I wonder, does he stay in character between? Imagine being on set with Michael Keaton and (laughs) you just walk over to him. Hey, how are you doing? (laughs) It's so good. I love it. And And there was no expectation, so you could do whatever you wanted with that character. Exactly. Oh, trust me. Pressure was way on, <laughs> way, way on. So, but to then you right. got to block that out. You know, you got to go. F- it. Was he allowed to swear in this interview? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe so, but it looks like it's a radio interview. So hopefully it wasn't a live radio interview. You got to get in that mentality. So I've probably really only seen it from beginning to end once or twice, maybe. Okay. But he's still seen it. I hadn't seen it for a long, long, long time. So I did go back and look at it again because I thought, no, you have to remember, just for all those reasons we just talked about, you better, you know, go back and look at this. So I did, obviously. And then I thought, but then I, then I was even more frightened. Because <laughs> he realized how much character and personality he put into the original. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, but, you know, uh, we finally got a script that was good. And, um, at that point, you just kind of try to. I, I wish I'd had. I, I do wish I'd had a few more months of uh, naps, frankly, because uh, I had, had stretching. Really couple, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do some stretching. Exactly. <laughs> I was a little more, you know, fairly tired from you know a lot of work for over some years. And I thought, no, no. You, when you get ready for this, you got to be ready for that. Uh, yeah. So in a perfect world, I'd have a few more. Months. I suppose it's, it's a very physical role as well because he is very, you know, he needs to be quite flexible because of the movements he does. I can see what he means. So he would have, he felt like he needed more time to to get into that mode to get his mind right. Months to kind of like nap, but uh, but like like that. So sure was fun. Man, was it fun? Oh, it's really so good. excited. Uh, yeah, you should be. <laughs> it's really good. It's September 6th. And, and, is that right? Yeah, September 6th. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. You know, physically. Also, I didn't see the date on the trailer. September 6th is going to be so good. I can't believe we've got to wait so long for it. That was so fun, exciting, visually. It's all that, but really kind of beautiful. Um, and, and interestingly, uh, emotional here and there. Yeah. I wasn't ready for that. He had to get back into the role and to be on the set with the people that he knew and loved from back then. Uh, that he obviously seen, you know, since, but he was back in the mode of even seeing Winona Ryder in her Lydia outfit. I bet that must have been very emotional for him. It's 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 great. It's great. And the cast, I mean, Catherine, if you thought she was funny last time, double it. 
She's so yes. funny. Also, yeah. Beetlejuice gets a wife, girlfriend. Yeah. What is with that? Monica Bellucci, which I, I think like, is so So funny. smart. I know. Dead. <laughs> dead. Quite literally dead. It's brilliant. And when you see her return, oh man. It is so good. <laughs> I can't wait. It's going to be wonderful. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed watching that with me, guys. Uh, do you want to see me do a reaction to this film when it comes out on the channel? Because that's probably the only way I want to watch it is with you guys. I want to find out, what does it come out on streaming? Or is it coming out in the cinema? I hope it's coming out in the cinema in some ways. But in other ways, for us watching it, I'm hoping it comes out on the streaming. So it is a Warner Brothers film, unfortunately, because I know Warner Brothers have been doing some weird stuff lately. Okay, so it says, ah, oh, it's going to be an IMAX as well. I never expected it to be an IMAX film. Now I'm thinking, do I watch it in the cinema on IMAX? Or do I watch it with you? Because I want to get that experience. I think what I'll do, obviously I can't watch it with you guys until after it's even been in cinemas because it won't be out until way after. Uh, for me to watch with you guys here and then I'll miss it from IMAX. Ah, oh, do you know what? That's, that's some of the reason why I wish they put it on streaming at the same time as being in the cinema because then what I could do, kind of like, did they do that with Cruella? I think it was. Yeah, so I, I kind of wish they would do that with this, but I know why they don't do it so that they can get more bums in seats in the cinema and they're not going to do that if everything is just going straight to streaming there. Uh, even if it's streaming and cinema. You know what happened when lockdown finished. I know there is a place um, that I can see films in cinemas way after they've been in. So maybe I'll see if they're going to be releasing the film after it comes out on streaming, because if they are, I'll do that and I'll watch it with you guys first. And then I'll go and see it at this Bijou Cinema and, you know, do it that way. That's the dilemma. When I, when I watch these films and I want to see it properly, but I also want to watch it with you guys. For being a huge fan of the original and for loving this and wanting to see it sort of for the, for, you know, for at least once on the big screen, I kind of want to. They've released it at a very good time because if you think about it, at the beginning of their run of September time, you'll get fans going to see it who really wanted to see it. They, they've been huge fans of it for forever or new people going into it because either their parents are taking them or they want to experience it for the first time, etc. Then you'll also get even more fans go along at the end of their run at the cinema because it's nearer Halloween because it, I think it runs for about a month usually at the cinema, I believe. I'm, I could be wrong. It could be a bit longer than that or a lot less than that. But with that being closer to Halloween time, people are going to want to see it and you'll get fans probably going back to rewatch it because it's Halloween and dressing up as Beetlejuice and Lydia and yeah. I'll be watching the actual trailer when that does release as well. Let's hope I do see it. <laughs> it doesn't just get lost because no one told me this this was coming out. The reason I'm saying it is because if it runs out about October-ish time and then they decide to put it to streaming after that point, then that's brilliant because I can get it watched and then we can watch it hopefully before Christmas, if they do release it around then. And then also, I'll potentially be able to go to the cinema to see it and then give you my little review of this was my experience, etc. Anyway, I don't know how it's going to play out yet, so we'll wait and see. It's a long time yet until that comes out, so it's going to be a fun wait. I hope you guys are doing really well though, and if you did like this, then consider clicking the like button, subscribing for more things like this. I don't often do trailers. I've got a few in the bank that are kind of needing to be going out. But yeah, if you do want to see other videos or maybe uncuts of films that I've watched or shows that I've watched as well, you can see those over on the Patreon page. You can also get your name added to the credits as well. Also, one last thing before I go, what do you think? Are they going to do another film? Are they going to do a third film? I feel like with the name Beetlejuice Beetlejuice, they are going to do a third one to have his name again. Or do you think they're not going to do that because you're not meant to be saying his name three times? It seems obvious they're going to make a third one. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see as to how this film plays out though as to whether or not there's going to be a third or if anybody releases news nearer the time about there being another one after. For now though, we'll just enjoy the first one and then when this comes out, we'll just revel in the uh, the wonder that is Beetlejuice. Anyway guys, I hope you have a lovely day. Whatever you're going to be doing, just enjoy it. And yeah, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. If you're still here to the very end, then thank you so much, and also a huge thank you to my wonderful patrons. Roger C. Griffith, Douglas Collier, Terry V, Miggy Love, Chris Holmes, 
Jojo, Thomas Masters, Shoehorn1234, Ress, Patrick Durr, Andrew Blount, Carlos, Marla Mize, Rob, Chandra Blair, Scott, Paul Zawicki, Randy, Kirsten, Juan Pablo Camero, JL, Maggie, Freya Alexandra, Milo, Miranda, Edna, Gina Aman, Tess Averland, Olivia, Maria Stoicheva, Neno, Megan Janoviak, Rainy Tomo, Strawberry Tree, Kirsten Bailey, Boobly Boo, Louise Vanderhoven, Aubrey Terry, Wraithist, Heidi Steele, City D, Bumblebee, Joshua, Jesse, Rena Borough, Meet, Lolita Verbakovskia, Eli, Holly Jeffries, Alenka Hafner, HM Garth, Chloe Grover, Neb, Kyle Baker, Abby Barker, Tom Tattershall, Kristen Olds, Tilly Chum, Laura Hutchison, Tara M. Will Coxon, Sazzy Nation, Ferdinand Pitchard, Jim McKay, Sphere, Mel Days, Fran in the Pen, BG, Tara, Rags and Muffins, Nameless Human Being, Deb, Philippa Chapman, Emily, Panda, David Wayne Fox, Jessica Asakovich, Sue Pro, Naja in Workshop, Mike Tunnicliffe, Wolfgang Wolf, and Lee. If you'd like to see more videos, there's some more on the screen right now. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and see you next time.